In this episode, in this movie, I want to talk about how to print objects uh, within the uh, C++ language. So thus far, anytime we've wanted to print something, it's, it's either uh, been assumed that a print function exists, um, or we were explicitly creating a function called print, which isn't exactly the way that things are, are really done in um, in C++. I mean, th there's actually a different way that we want to actually implement everything. Uh, and I want to show you how to do that here in this particular podcast. Uh, essentially show you how to how print is done in C++ and, and talk a little bit about why it's uh, either the same or different to uh, different from what you've seen in Java. So uh, in the Java language, uh, I don't know if you recall this, but there was this thing called the the two print or sorry the two string method that you would implement with all of your classes, um, and there is something that's similar in uh, that we can do in C plus plus so that whenever uh, we use that uh, the less than the double less than operator, um, that we'll be able to print to um, to the uh, standard out string. So let me do something here. Uh, let me create a class. We're going to have a um, an integer value uh, parameter, and then also let me include a string. And then I also need to include IO string here. Okay, so I'm going to have a string as part of this. Um, this is the, I'll call it name. And um, then we'll, uh, and then what I need to do is define a class, or a function within, uh, within the class that is going to be the printing function. And what I'm going to do is define this thing as what is called a friend. It's a friend function. I call it O stream, and it's going to return a reference, uh, and we're going to overload the operator. This uh, this double arrow operator. pass in uh, a reference to the stream as well as a reference to not stop to uh, my class to the object that's being printed okay so what uh, what this function is going to allow us to do is let's say we use C out uh, and then we're going to print one of these my class objects. So my object. That's what this function is going to let us do. So this operator method, or this operator keyword, basically says that you're defining an inline operator or a um, a uh, not uh, an infix operator. So uh, the parameters for the operator. So here's the parameter. Here's the operator. The parameters are uh, an O stream object, so C out is an O stream object, and then the uh, the my class object, so that's this piece here. Uh, if we were to write this out as uh, instead of an operator, but just as a function, it might look something like print, and then out my object. Um, but that's a little awkward. I mean, we want to use this uh, this type of operator. Uh, you can actually define any type of operator that you want using operator symbols uh, within C++. Uh, Java doesn't actually allow you to define um, operators, and I, th I know that's something that Java programmers, experienced Java programmers, have been wanting to do, but they haven't been able to, and I don't believe that's ever going to change. But anyway, in C++ we can define these operators, uh, and we can define uh, these uh, operators as a way to actually print the object. Now the thing that uh, is different here is this uh, this keyword of friend, uh, and basically what we're doing is saying is, is we're defining this this operator uh, not as a method of the class but rather as a friend of the class. 
uh, so that this operator, or this function, uh, can access all of the private members, the private attributes of the, of the input class uh, that would be given by this, uh, this parameter here, here uh, without having to be a member of the, of the class. Let me say that again. So this operator is a friend of the class and it can access the attributes of the class without having to be a member of the class. It's a friend. Um, so uh, what we can do then is write a function that uh, can access the, uh, the internals without having to go through the interface, without having to go through using either getters or setters for, uh, for the method. All right, so what we can do then is we can create a, this function and I'm going to do this uh, here within the .h file, which means I need to use the inline operator so that this function only gets declared once ever, um, so we don't get any conflicts in our compilation. And I'm going to then write my my um, my function has the same, obviously the same uh, signature. Oops, and uh, now I need to have some actual code here. Uh, now this is taking in a stream, so this is O stream, and we need to actually return that same stream, so I'm just gonna write that piece first. Um, and now I'm going to actually print the contents of the stream. So I'm gonna take this out, op, uh, this out object, I'm going to pass to it, um, let's see, let's say name, Contents of name. Actually, let's print it out this way. And a value. And that's it. And actually, I'm missing something here. This should actually be MC at mc dot name and mc dot value. Okay, so now this is a reference. It's not a pointer, which means that it's it's the actual object, uh, but it isn't it isn't a pointer to the object. So we can refer to it with the dot notation. Um, okay, so that's. Um, um, that's my print operation. Now let's actually do something with this. Uh, we first need to implement each of the methods. So let me go to source, implement method. This, uh, this wasn't working for me the other day too. Let's see. Should be able to generate getters and setters. Uh, actually, I'm not interested in that as much as having the method generated. Huh. Something janky going on here with Eclipse. Okay, well, I'm just going to write the code then. Oh, because well, it's already been, the, the code's already been generated. That's why I want to let me generate it. Okay, so we need uh, let's see, we need to change the parameters here, so let me int in name, uh, int value, ah, uh, string, pointer, in name, int in value, and then make the same change here. And I'm just going to simply set uh, name equal to in name and value equal to in value. And then with the new structure, I need to delete name. Okay, so that's my entire class. And now, how to print. 
So we have hello world in there already. We need to create a my class object. So my class my object is equal to new my class and pass it to a new string. Um, And I need a value here, so 58, call it 48, okay. And let's see, I forgot to include my class.h, and I need to use namespace. Okay, everything looks good. And now we actually need to print the object. So, see out my object, the endo after that. Build it. And now run. Yeah, run configuration. And run it. And there it is. Hello world, name Detroit, or debt. And then 48. So again, um, we've written this uh, this friend function that actually is doing the actual printing of the object. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out here is that if we don't have this friend function, and so let me comment it out. If we don't have the friend, then this thing won't work. We won't be able to actually print it and we'll get an error basically saying so that it can't print the object uh, we can print the pointer so let me do that and then it'll print an address but it won't we can't actually print the object without that print function And so I need to fix this. And then we build. And that's all done. So anyway, that's uh, that's how to print.